So let's say that you have uh, somehow crashed your whole PC and you've lost everything. And yeah, somehow, somehow you've loaded your factory settings. So you basically have nothing going on. And here by um, default, it will be set to EV. So let's revert to Octane, make sure that uh, Octane is turned on. It is. And I'm not getting anything, so you might think, yeah, it's not working, Octane sucks! So that's not the problem. The first thing you want to do is go to the shading tab, um, set the world, set the world on fire, and uh, here you're gonna um, erase this world and create a new one. And uh, I think I'm gonna go for the daylight. here and um, it's working but it's not set to the proper uh, color um, color setup so you need to go to the basic parameters of your um, of uh, your renderer here in the color management and the view transform as it says here always use raw view transform for octane so view transform you will set to raw and now you're getting uh, the proper result let me add a plane I'm going to revert to object. I'm just going to be uh, whatever color, but no specular. And this is going to be my basic cube. It's going to be ah, and obviously uh, this cube is uh, the uh, is set with the uh, EV material. So I'm going to delete it. New, no specular, and albedo red. Okay. And now it's uh, rendering properly. So one really stupid issue that you can fix easily. Uh, let's say I have this uh, beach here and um, I'm scaling it up because I want it to be bigger. I press Ctrl A, rotation and scale. And uh, it doesn't update the texture at all. Uh, I have my outline of my plane over there but the texture has not, it's not, has not, it's not fit my uh, plane here, so that's not working. Uh, the easiest way is just to make it invisible, make it visible. Done. Let's say that you're rendering a scene with a lot of lights and a lot of things that are specular. Like I've got some water here, some reflections, there's uh, a specular, specular material here. And I'm being assaulted by all those fireflies everywhere. It's horrible. I'm, I cannot read my image. Uh, so the easy solution to this is you go to your um, parameters of your of, of Octane and uh, in the quality, you will reduce the GI clamp to one. If you give it enough time, enough passes, you get rid of all the fireflies. That's 500 passes and I get no fireflies. So I have two blenders on my computer. I have a blender cycles and blender octane. And uh, let's say that I've made this scene with cycles and I'd like to open it with octane. Uh, you'll get some issues with this and I want to show you how and what you can do to, uh, to get rid of the issues. So as I said, this file was made with cycles. I'm going to open it. And so you might be, so the first thing obviously uh, is that this file was made with cycles. So it's set to cycles, set it back to octane, uh, set this to raw. And if you render this, uh, it's not going to work because everything is off. Uh, the world needs something. So you're going to have to set this to daylight or something to start building it. And obviously all your shaders will be wrong because uh, they are the, um, the cycles shaders, right? So that means you're going to have to reshade everything. Uh, I think I have some videos about how to convert materials, but uh, what I want to show you is that there's a bigger issue here with this file. It's that um, 
maybe you want to change the passes. Like you think you don't have enough samples here, and you want more samples in your um, in your renders, and it's it's not it's not something's wrong. You you don't have the passes, and here you, you want to change the passes, and you've got nothing. So the issue is that it got rid of the kernels. There's nothing here. So you click on new, close that one, and now you've got uh, the direct lighting kernel. I will change this to pass tracing, and now I have my parameters back, and I can change the preview to something else, and the max samples to 2000, for example. And then I will be able to see uh, how many samples it's using to render. Uh, so yeah, if you've lost your kernels, probably you need to check the uh, new default to get uh, some kernels going on here. And one last issue uh, that can be easily fixed. Uh, let's say that you're working on an animation with this character. And somehow, um, so this is my uh, animation. And it is working, but... Um, it can happen that when you hit uh, the render animation button here, uh, this guy may not move at all. The issue for that is very simple. Every asset that is going to be animated within Octane, which means all of these parts of this character, they need to be set in the, um, in the object parameters to um to a reshapable proxy in the octane object properties by default the objects are set to scatter movable but if you want them to be uh, moving in your animation scene they must be set to a reshapable proxy so this was part one of my uh, issues uh, with blender octane but uh, i'll make another one uh, that will be related to um, like objects disappearing or uh, not uh, moving the right way and stuff like normals going off, uh, stuff like that. So I hope that was useful and I'll see you in another tutorial.